Hey, what's going on there, but I want to do a video um, on the ideas mode uh, that was added to machine. For the longest, I had the hardest time wrapping my head around just how it worked. And if anybody has used uh, Ableton or something like that, then you, you'll kind of um, kind of understand the uh, layout. But like I said, for a minute, it took me the longest to kind of wrap my head around it. And I'm still kind of learning it. But I just wanted to, um, I guess, show um, just how it kind of works and how it kind of speeds up your um, workflow. Especially if when you when it comes to building, uh, you know, sections or, or scenes. You know, most time you have a song. It's based on the intro and then... Um, a verse, then a chorus, then a second verse, then a chorus, and another verse, and then like a build up of some kind of bridge or something, and then an outro and all that. But the problem that a lot of people have is figuring out just how do you put that in in order. And so I'm gonna do like a real, um, hopefully simple idea just so you can kind of get the gist of how it, the generality of how it works, and then you can just kind of take it from there. <clears throat> but basically the way it works, if you have your machine controller and you hold down shift and sing, you'll talk between song mode, which is just here, and ideas mode. Song, song mode is kind of like how I say if you are using a DAW, and everything starts from the left and works it your way out to the um, right. Okay. And so this is your ideas mode. And there are two things that's important. Down here are your groups. Group A, B, C, D, and so on. Up here are your scenes these are the scenes that's going to hold containers of whatever instrument it is that you have say if you have drums here guitar there synth strings on each one that's what's going to go under this particular highlighted heading here everything that you pick here is going to fall under that highlighted area there as far as what's going to be used. So you could say, for instance, put this as verse, right? Click this. This could be, I mean, not verse, I'm sorry. Let me rename that. Intro. this here rename that and we'll call this um we call that the verse click here and we'll name this one chorus okay and say if you want this to be verse uh, actually that would be uh, verse 2 actually I'm sorry alright and that would be verse 2 so you got the intro verse chorus a verse then you know you have another chorus right there so the question is, how do you transfer all of that to your linear mode here? Hold down, shift, press scene, and we're back. So what I've done is, on my first group, I have drums.
So let's just let's just do some some simple. I'm gonna set this just for a little simple. Two bars. Uh, let me just go to preferences, turn down this met this um, metronome a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna let's record some. Okay, now let's say I wanted that to be, you know, my intro. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, maybe start out with just a kick. Now, if I hold down control, I can copy pattern one down one. And I have pattern two, which is a copy of pattern one. I can either do that. I'm going to erase that. Or I can just click. And it'll give me a second pattern, but it's blank. And I could just do a whole different whole different thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this because I don't wanna use that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down control. And I'm gonna do a copy of pattern one, which will be pattern two. But in this I'm going to add uh I don't know. Let's add that to it. Okay, so pattern two is a copy of pattern one, but with that little shaker thing, whatever it is. I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to make a third pattern. And on this one, I'm going to add that right there. Well, you know, we're not gonna worry about all that. Just keep it how we got it for now. Okay, so in my, in my first group, I have, and remember right now, we're not gonna worry about the intro verse and all that for now. We're just getting down, you know, different ideas. That's what we're working on is ideas. Okay, and so now I'm gonna go to group um, B and I have a, uh, some uh, little sounds in. <laughs> I like that sound but so we just use that and we just do a little two bar loop of that remember right now we're just working on ideas so this is our first pattern Okay, so we have one pattern in that. Now let's say, okay, we wanna we wanna do something different. So I'm gonna click second cell. Okay, and we gonna make a second second pattern. So we got. gonna sound but we just gonna do it just for variations um sake
Okay, so we have two different patterns. We have pattern A, as you can see there is different from pattern two, which is different. And also what you could do is you could name these. Let's rename that. Uh, I don't know, synth one. Okay. And we could name this one. Synth two. We can name this right here. Rename kick solo. Right? And I think we had this as kick and shaker or something. So we can rename that kick shaker. We can name this right here. Uh, drum full. That's kind of, you know, everything. Okay, so we have drums. We have a synth. Very basic, but just an idea. And now I'm going to go to three. Uh, group three, which is a bass sound. <laughs> Now I'm going to just place something just so I can play something. So we just lay something simple now. We have one pattern now let's just say for just for the sake of we just gonna do a second pattern come on computer quick go on slow on me okay want to act full okay so now we got second pattern. I'm just gonna just tap some anything out well let me see what the second pattern is playing <laughs> Okay, now what I did was I should have had pattern synth pattern one playing when I was making a bass pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let's say delete this here, move this down. So that's and synth two, and let's make this. Um, Let's rename this to base two. Let's let that play. Okay, now let's go back to synth pattern one and let's click that first cell there. Come on, computer. Okay, so we will name this base one. Now we gotta get something to match that.
we just lay that. That's gonna sound stupid. We just lay it down. Try that again. Okay, so what we have now is we have a synth, a bass, and drums. Now the question is, so how do I arrange this? How do I make this where it's going to play in the particular order that I want it to go. So what you're going to do is now these different headers. Now you click those when you want to start working on your different parts of your song. So right now is my intro. I'm going to click just starting out with say just the kick. Now let that play. Okay, so say I want to start out with that, and say I would just want to start out with and that. Okay, say I want that to be my intro. Once you click in that particular cell, and you click a pen to arrangement, it's going to copy that, and it's going to send it to song mode. And there it is. Where, let me see, where's my, okay, there it is. It's got my kick solo and my bass, and look, it has the name of my intro. So, I'm fine with that. Let's click play. And it's just looping that particular area. Right? Now, let's say, I want, now I want to do my first verse. Let's say my my in my first verse I want to have I want the kick and the shaker. I want the synth to come in, synth one. Uh and my bass. Right? I click in that top cell where it's highlighted, click a pinned, go back to linear mode. There it is. Kick and shaker, synth one, and bass one. Now we go back, let's hear it play. That's my intro, y'all. That's my intro. Then comes the. So that's that's pretty much it. All it is to it. So I've got that. I got my verse, and then I go back and say, now I do my chorus part. My chorus part, which is here, I want to do those drums with everything in it, and that's uh, click synth two, bass two, append. Shift back. Now we have verse three. And now, and the important the important thing to notice. Excuse me. The important thing to notice is that the sounds are changing. Like I said, this is a stupid 
song it don't make no sense as far as how it sounds or not but the idea is that now you have arrangements and you can you can change you can change them up so let's hear it play that's pretty much it then on your controller you can just you can go you can go uh, click that and on your controller you can change you know whatever pattern you want you know and then it'll switch you know it'll switch up in your arrangement so say I got that now my second verse all right well, how well, how do I want that you know do I want let me see my second verse how do I want it Let's say I want to have just a synth, right? And I just want to have the same drums playing. And I'm going to pin that. We go back. There we are. It's going to play just that. So let's go out of the chorus into the second verse. <laughs> But that's pretty much how you um, lay things down. It can, you know, it can go as long as you, you know, you want it to. And say, just for uh, instance, or whatever. Uh, let's go back and let's say uh, in scene five, I just want to have nothing. I just want to. Um, Let's, let's solo that. And let's I just want to borrow silence. I have bar silence. Then I'm going to add. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do that. Let's do it. Uh, okay, let's. So we'll call this. Um, rename it. Break. All right. And then we'll go back into. Let's make this. Uh, verse. Three. Okay, and then verse three. I'm gonna go back to just the drum and shaker and just the bass. Well, we just, we, we know what, we'll go back to synth and we will append that. Now, let's hope that it added the break. I don't think it did, I don't see it. But we'll just let it play. You know what? Because I don't think I hit a pin break.
Okay, that's the break right there. So let's see. Can we move that to, let's say, there? Did that move it? Okay, I held down control and it looks like it made a copy of that. But that's 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 fine. So let's 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 come out of the chorus. See, and that's the break. Uh, let's get right into it. So you get the idea, hopefully. I hope I kind of made this, I guess, somewhat simple. Because, like I said, it took me a minute to, to kind of get my head wrapped around it. So I kind of got the idea of it. So I'm hoping this um, made it uh, somewhat a little simple for anybody else to understand how you work the ideas mode um, with uh song mode basically you have your you name your scenes here and then you put your patterns which are they work from top to bottom and the bottom are your groups or your particular banks of sounds and that's it so i hope this this um as far as basics of how it works uh, helps you out. So y'all be cool. Peace out.